What's going on, you guys? IFBB Men's Physique Pro David Schwartz. If you guys are new to the channel, I am an IFBB Men's Physique Pro, as well as a worldwide uh, IFBB contest prep coach, and I coach just the everyday regular person. So if you guys are in the market for any online coaching, make sure you fill out the link down below in the description, and uh, thank you guys for watching. So going into today's workout, what we're doing today is a heavy back day, so we're towards the end of our off season, about to start contest prep, so strength should be at its highest point right now. So I'm uh, gonna utilize that, utilize a lot of those Christmas foods and Christmas cookies that we just ate over the weekend. Uh, gonna put those to work. Gonna show you guys what I've been doing to grow the density and the thickness of my back before we start prep for our IFBB Pro debut here in a few months. So that's about it, we're about to roll into the workout. We're gonna start off with some rack pulls. So I'll take you guys along with me and uh, get this workout a try. All right, so we are starting off with some rack pulls. So no matter what, no matter how strong or weak I am, I'm gonna start with 135. So um, pretty much I'm gonna work up through these pretty quickly. Um, always leave some in the tank. If you, like obviously 135 is gonna be pretty light. So if 135 is light, there's no reason to hit 20 reps. Do enough to kind of warm up the muscle, get it stimulated, rack it, and save more energy for whenever it gets heavier, right? So you have more energy left in the tank. So we're gonna hit 135, 225, 315. We're gonna see where we stick from there, but we're gonna hit two heavy top sets and then we'll work our way back down and then move on to the next exercise. Yeah, I'm your hero. All right, so grip was kind of shitty, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna go down to two plates, hit a drop set, and do pretty much failure. We're gonna hit, try and for like 10 to 15. Then after that, we got two plates. We're gonna go to one plate, and we're gonna hit barbell rows for two or three sets of 10 to 12. So uh, let's jump into it, let's get it. Sinister, all the things I've seen occur. Each evening's been a blur. Yo, I got what's your next move? I'm the last when you wanna step to. I'll save your life. Yes, you will. I'm coming to the rescue. Yeah, I'm your hero. Came from nothing, up from zero. They tried to take me out. I'm here though. Yeah, I'm your hero. Yeah, I'm your hero. Woo. All right. Now we're gonna drop one more off and hit our set of barbell rows. Okay, so before I go into barbell rows, recently I actually had like a little bit of a back injury, I guess. So it's finally coming back to normal, almost I think. But pretty much this cage that we have here, um, we rearranged the gym, right? So pretty much we put our two split machines here, we have two cages here, blah, 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 right? So we haven't nailed these down on the floor yet. So if you want to, they can kind of slide. Feel like do rack, rack pulls or rows or squats and like, you know, rack the weight. The cage can shift a little bit, right? So this one needs to be moved. And normally how I pull it is I kind of like pull it on this side and then I grab it by the horn and I'll pull it on the other side, right? So try to pull it from the horn to make it even. And I guess I'm just so strong, man. Like I pulled the horn out. So I literally was like here and I pulled it and I pulled the horn off and I was like, ooh, and I literally fell and went bam on the other side though, in my scap. So I don't know if it's like a really deep bruise or if I kind of F something up or whatever, but yeah, so story time. That's why I'm, I kind of have an injury back right now. I wouldn't really call it an injury, more of an inconvenience, but that's what we're kind of rocking with and working around. So if you guys see me being weird on one side, that's why. So. With that being said, rack pulls are done. <laughs> we're gonna hit some barbell rows. Hopefully it doesn't, you know, make it act up or anything, but we'll see how we're, we're, we're rocking with those. So I'm gonna hit two or three sets of these, 10 to 12 reps, focusing really on just keeping that chest over the bar, not cheating, not using momentum, just having those scaps retract and the shoulder blades come together, okay? So let's get it. I'm taking hold, I'll never let go. I'm here to stay, so let the world Cause I'm your hero. The 
best part about being an IFBB pro is getting a really cool belt. I can do that. I'm just kidding. There's zero pro to being a pro, and I bought that belt, but it's still pretty freaking cool. Undeniable static shirt. Use code David. Just kidding, it doesn't even give you a discount code. But support your boy. Come on, DM me. Hit me up for a shirt. If you DM me and ask me for a shirt, I might hook it up. So, David Shore Fitness. All right, so anyways, this belt actually humbles me too because uh, I got it on prep and I'm on loop one. And even when I'm super shredded, I'm on like loop two, maybe three. So it keeps me in check in the off season, man. Because I can't be getting too chunky, you know? All right, anyways, back to it. I'm gonna hit a straight arm pullover here. Um, we pretty much taxed the lower back and the upper back with the rows and the rack pulls. So now we're gonna isolate the lats and the a little bit, get those warmed up before we move to a lat pull down. Um, so, I made a video about this guy on my Instagram. I love this attachment for the straight arm pullovers. I think it's a lot better than using a traditional rope or even a bar. Um, so kind of watch the form on these. If you don't have this attachment, I would highly suggest looking into it. I got this one on Amazon. It's like 25, 30 bucks. Um, it's money, it's money. So get those lights firing and that's what gives you that big old V taper, creates the illusion of a small waist, makes you look way bigger. So we got the hands in the second holes. We're gonna hit about 12 to 15 of these. Three rounds there, it's over feeling good, and I'll move on to the pull down. Hold tight, hold tight. I'm coming for you. Hang on, hang on, I'm coming for you. We all hear gruesome tales. Go through hell, but good prevails. You rip my face soon as jail. I save the day, it never fails. These eyes have seen some lethal people. Maniacs truly evil. Nothing they do is legal. Clear the streets, make them peaceful, strong, or stop a speeding train. We clear? We good? We rolling? We good? All right. So next one that we got is a, uh, I'm going to do a neutral grip lat pull down. So most of my lat pull downs to actually like really get those lats and not the upper back involved are going to be neutral grip. So on this one, we're focused on really bringing those elbows kind of in, pull, in front of us forward um, while keeping the butt out, chest up high. So making sure you're not coming here and having the elbows drift back. Uh, that's going to make it more of an upper back movement. So we're going to focus on driving those knees to the pad. Like I said, elbows right in front and because that's how the latin runs and moves right so we want to op optimize that get that involved um gonna get a little bit upper back involvement with this pull down but mainly working on those lats so i'm gonna fire off the lats here got one more movement after this gonna be a rolling movement again and that's it for today miracles i can't even explain got i'm scared to speak my name with the heart of a lion head in the clouds part in the flying the public's my client i love him i feel like a giant yeah, I'm your hero Came from nothing, up from zero They tried to take me out, I'm here Okay, so we're gonna go into a volume sets to end the workout. Pretty much uh, what we're gonna do here is just two sets of 20 reps. So weight is still pretty moderate. It's pretty much what I would do for like a regular kind of three sets of 12 kind of thing. Um, we're gonna hit a neutral grip. So hands are gonna be close together. We're gonna have the hands on the inside part a little bit lower on the bar uh, to get a little more upper back in there, um, and as well as lats, so kind of evenly distribute the, the load between the two. So seat's up gonna be up pretty high, and we're gonna keep that chest planted into this chair, okay? So that's gonna be the biggest thing, is not having, you know, your, your chest alleviate tension off of the, the pad, right? So, gonna hop into these, two sets there, and that's a wrap for today. Yeah, I'm your hero. guys that is a wrap for today's workout i feel like i say the same thing every time but deal with it sorry i got nothing else to say but that's it for the workout today um as you see not a lot of volume uh just went heavy on our heavy hitters when like you know we're talking about like the rack pulls and the uh, barbell rows stuff like that so short sweet to the point trying not to overstimulate, especially right now when supplements are low food is high i'm just kind of focused on still building tissue while maintaining and staying healthy and uh, letting kind of injuries kind of heal and things like that before we jump into like a really rigorous prep. So um, 
yeah, overall, I feel good. I'm gonna have some more videos talking about like kind of the overview of what my prep will look like and things like that. So I'm getting excited. Um, it's gonna be really cool. We have a lot of stuff, really, really cool stuff planned out. Uh, a lot of really cool things in the works. So um, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment, share, do all the things, man. It really does make a big difference. So uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, I am out. Peace.